Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Impact and Influence. Today, we're joined by Andrew Bryan. He is the principal and the general manager of Doherty Property in Grafton. How are you, Andrew? I'm really good, Ali. How are you? Very well, thank you. Um, okay, so we'll just jump straight into it. Um, you can tell us a little bit about your background, but just quickly for our viewers, um, Andrew has moved from corporate in Sydney um, to regional Grafton, uh, where he is um, principal and, and directing Doherty Property. So how has the tr transition been from corporate back into regional boutique? Yeah, it's been actually um, seamless. I've been here now for five months. That's gone so quickly, almost six months, actually. Very fast. Uh, but it's been, um, I say to people, because I lived in this area for so long and had two businesses, a hotel and a real estate business, it's like I've never left. It's like walking down the street saying hello to people. There's a few more grey hair than a lot of people I see, but <laughs> it's, it's a beautiful community we have in the Clarence Valley. It's just a lovely community. It's very relaxed and it yes. has that real country vibe, which I absolutely love. Yes, I can attest to that. Having spent some time up there with you guys, I just absolutely loved it. And um, amazing steak at that pub that you recommended as well. Yeah, yeah <laughs> um, absolutely. So why the change? What what drove this change? Well, after uh, over 12 years in corporate with two different brands, which was absolutely amazing, I got to see the whole countryside and met some amazing people. Um, I've got six children and my wife, carried the load a lot with that while I was doing those roles. Um, she's actually more educated and smarter than I am, and she's she's been doing a lot of uni degrees. So we talked about how that she relaunches her career because our youngest is now going into high school and uh, she got a, she has a really good role with Department of Education and stuff. Well, so how do we transition where it gives her time to start growing? So that conversation where we, uh, and this really worked for us, so it gave me the capability. So our roles have completely changed. I don't go to the airport anymore. Uh, my wife, Amanda, does, and I drive the kids to school and pick them up, and it's just a really good change, yeah. and it's really good to see her thrive and, and now take on her career. Amazing. Um, yeah, that's so good. It is all about the, the balance and sharing the yeah. load, as they say. Um, so as part of a corporate group, what did you see as the biggest challenges? Uh, corporates, it's a difficult role for people in corporate uh, and we're lucky enough in, in Australia, we have some great brands. There's really good real estate brands mm. uh, and they all offer something different. But in the corporate, to find when you work in corporate, you need to wear so many hats and have to have so many experiences because you're dealing with completely different businesses and different people on a daily base. They're different their areas, different concerns. So you need to know a lot of things. Mm. So it is really challenging to get that understanding and then getting to know the people you're dealing with as well. I mean, that's that's definitely challenging, but that's that's the great part of those roles, which I do miss. I miss that interaction and, yeah. and seeing different stages because you can't put a blanket across your whole business when the businesses I work were were across the whole country and there's different challenges in all those markets. There's no one thing. That's right. Yeah. You've, I mean, and it's, you would even just notice that having now worked in regional versus um Sydney CBD, yeah. like just you can't take the same approach um, or have Absolutely. the same expectations. Yeah. Yeah, there's different challenges, plus and minuses for both regional and city. Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah. Um, and so where do you think, um, you know, at, you just mentioned that with corporates, um, they are servicing many different uh, areas, many different markets. So how and where do you think corporate groups can add value to their franchisees? I think for me, and this is a personal opinion, I think it's the training piece that that all business owners, me included, want, and not only for our team, for ourselves as well. I think it's really important that you're connected and you're getting the visibility of what's actually happening. So what what you can use or what tools you can have and things to check in that you're doing the right right thing. So having those things available uh, and then having a mix of face-to-face -face and, and Teams and Zoom meetings is really important. But I think my personal view over COVID, we got away from the the personal touch, which I re I'm a big believer in personal touch. I'm a big believer in being in front of someone and having a face-to-face -face conversation where you can learn a lot more about someone in that time rather than a scheduled meeting uh, and it's very hard to interact in those. So I think that's that's a big piece for 
for um for corporates to focus on around how they connect with their businesses and how they they get in front of them enough times to to make sure they're okay. Excellent. Yes, that's so true. Um, Okay, so I mentioned before that I got to spend some time with you and your team up in Grafton. So I was recently there, you engaged me to come up and perform a health check on the rent roll. Um, So how has that report shaped the direction of your property management strategy? And have there been any quick wins that you've been able to implement as a result? Yeah, it, it was really interesting because I'm new to the business. So we have about 31 staff across our both locations. So there's some angst when someone new joins. Some of the team members knew me through previously, but there's that. And then when you bring in, an, in another company to come in and engage with the team, no one really likes change. People say they do, but I don't think anyone really likes change yeah. when it comes, especially when things are going well. So, um, but overall, it was really, really greatly received. So we have, have a really, really good loyal team and a lot of them have been here for many many years and have been doing things certainly for for many times so making sure that yeah what you're doing is right but there might be other opportunities or we could stay doing that same so I think the team now are really engaged we've got got some people stepping up we've got some uh, people who are just getting their real estate qualifications Um, we're seeing a lot more um, cohesion between offices now so I think that's really important when you work in our offices are 40 Days apart, which is uh, not a lot in regional, probably a bit in the city, but there's still that time difference around making sure we're all on one board, they can ring. And, and yeah. we've seen some great changes now in regards to workflow and integrate. And the best thing I'm seeing is our culture has really picked up, it's stepped up another level. So today um, we have, we've got Margie, who's been with our business for 18 years. She's done our trust. She's leaving. So we're having her oh, farewell no. and, and seeing the way that people are getting around. That, that's what you're in. Yeah. So someone who's been with the business for 18 years, who's been a stalwart, worked from reception all the way up through the business. Uh, and it's great to see how people are coming together and that. So we'll have a great celebration for her this afternoon. Uh, and she'll be still in the area, so I'm sure she'll be popping in. Wonderful. Yes, definitely. Um, <laughs> and so going back to the health check, was there anything that you got out of that that um, – has given you some good results or yet? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So I think for me, it was about getting someone independent because obviously I've asked the team and that's good to get their feedback, getting someone independent that doesn't have an agenda to yeah. look at that business objectively and go, here's some things that you may look at. Here's some risks. And we, thank God. And, and the team is great. We didn't have any major risks. Everything yeah. is really good at the compliance. Yeah. So that's, and that gave me comfort. We've got a really good, solid business, a really great base yes. that's going well. How do we start improving that? And then workshopping those. So we had Lauren after you, Ali, as well, come in and we really workshopped around, okay, what can we achieve in the next six months, 12 months, year and a half, two years? And everyone's right. on board. We always talk about in the business, I talk about getting time back, getting time back for ourselves to focus on great things. So I think that work-life balance is really important to the team. So we have seen great improvement from that. Great. And it's definitely, you can always improve. Exactly. And what property manager is not going to be on board with getting more time back? <laughs> Correct. Absolutely. Um, yeah, but you do have a really good team there. Um, yeah. And it's great that they're all kind of on board um, and moving forward, which is excellent. Um, so you've had a very fruitful career in real estate. If you could give a piece of advice to your 20-year-old self, what would it be? Well, it would have been getting into real estate earlier because at 20, I was a chef. I was <laughs> oh. actually an apprentice then. So, <laughs> so right. absolutely getting into real estate earlier. But I think I was thinking about that that piece when I, when I started and how things just happened. Yep. I think good, I know good things happen to people who are inquisitive and they're a bit curious. Mm. So being more curious, and, and I think I did that. I actually travelled, I've worked and lived everywhere across Australia. It's been amazing. So I've had a really good thing. But I think don't be scared to ask questions. Don't be scared to take a take a more challenging role. Don't think you're not experienced enough because I think you, I think a lot of people underestimate what they can achieve. And, and I think you get to know, especially for your personal growth, you get to know yourself how far you can push yourself. It's like anything like sport. You go into a role, you push yourself. Sure, there'll be bumps and bruises along the way and life lessons, but you go with an open mind. I think that's it. But 
I think for any young person looking at a career, real estate is amazing. You can work anywhere across Australia. Um, it's easy to transfer your real estate qualifications from uh, prior mutual recognition. Mm. And you can get, and if you're young and you can travel, you can travel across the whole country and get to see everything while you're working. Yeah. In a wonderful industry. Yes, I completely agree. Um, mm. I think, you know, taking on those additional challenges, um, it builds resilience. And yeah. how else are you supposed to get the experience if you if you don't give it a go? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Andrew. You do have a wonderful business and in a really lovely part of the world. So once again, I really enjoyed my time there with you and I know Lauren's really enjoying um, yeah. her time with the team as well. Um, and, yes, we hope to to see you soon. Thanks for your Absolutely. support. Absolutely. Thanks, okay. Ali. Thank you. Bye. Bye.